In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this first loft at Boss for our water meter housing. So I'm going to control tab back to my other open SolidWorks document. I'm going to select the top plane and tell it I want to make a sketch in that plane. I'm going to start with a center point rectangle. I'll lock the center to the origin, move out and click. I'll move over and I'll use mouse gestures to activate smart dimensioning. I'll dimension this line 6 inches and this entity 5. And now that my sketch is fully defined, I'll add half inch fillets to the corners. So I'll activate fillet, I'll set the size to 0.5, and I'll click on each corner point to add the half inch fillet. I'll right click to stop adding that fillet, and I'll right click, select OK until I'm done adding fillets. And I'll right click one more time and tell it to exit the sketch. Next I'll look at this isometrically. For my next sketch, I'm going to create an offset plane first. So I'm going to select the top plane, come to reference geometry, select plane, and I'm going to offset this plane three inches up. It's fully defined and I'll say OK. My next step is to sketch in this plane. So I'm going to select it and tell it I want to sketch in the plane. I'll look normal to it and I'm going to keep the visibility of this sketch on because I want it as a reference. I'll use my mouse gestures again to activate circle and I'll create a center point circle Then I'll use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. Select my circle, I'm going to zoom out a bit, click to place the dimension and this will be 7 inches. I'm going to push escape to stop dimensioning. So my next step, I want to add some breakpoints that are going to control the loft. Remember with the loft it's best if we do however many sided figure we have, so in this case our first figure has eight different entities or eight sides if you want to think of it that way. So I want to break this circle into eight segments and I want to see these segments. So I do a breakpoint close to here and here and etc. all the way around. So next I'm going to come up to the drop down menus. I'm going to select tools, sketch tools, and then I'm going to select split entities. So I'm going to split it here and here and again I'm going to split it on each side of the rounded rectangle corners working my way around. So I've added these eight splits. I'll right click and tell it OK I'm done. Then I'll select these two points and tell them they're horizontal. I'm going to keep doing this around my circle. So I'll select this one, hold control, select this, release control again, select horizontal. I'll do that again here. And then I'll do it here. Then next I'm going to use my smart dimension, so I'll use mouse gestures to activate it. And I'm going to dimension the angle from this point to this center point to this point, and that will be 85 degrees. And then I'll do it again from here to the center to this point here, and this time it'll be 120 degrees. I'm going to push escape to stop dimensioning, and then I want to see what's not fully defined, so I need this point and this point to be vertical, as well as this point and this point will be vertical. And now my sketch is fully defined. So I'll right click and exit the sketch. I'm going to select the isometric view to see this sketch. I'm going to click in white space so nothing is selected. Then I'm going to tell it I want to make it a loft at boss. So I'm going to select loft. Remember with a loft it's really critical that we select each sketch in roughly the same location. So I'll select this sketch here and then I'll come up and select this sketch here. Next I'm going to right click and tell it to show me all the connectors. I want to make sure none of these are crossed. So it looks good. I'm going to accept that. Look at it isometrically. I'll save my work and I'll continue from there in the next video. And now we've created our first loft for the water meter housing.